Okay, I'm here at 12402 West El Nido in Litchfield Park, and I'm gonna show you kind of how it looks as you would be driving out of your driveway. And now I'm gonna go up towards the front of the house. And as I do this, I can tell you that you're close to Camelback Ranch if you'd like spring training. Also, restaurants and shops, it's uh, Camelback would be your nearest cross street uh, and, and El Mirage. And as we go, you can see now we're entering the first part of this house and you can see it's pretty light in here. You've got good tile here, uh, pretty good size uh, front area. Some people call it the living room. Some people call it the lounge. And uh, this is a nice area. And so now we're gonna go here and move, gonna do the front, uh, the, 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 the first floor of the house first and then take you upstairs. So now you can see the, uh, this is the living room area here. Um, and you, so you have two big rooms downstairs and then you've got yourself a fireplace here that's pretty nice. And now we're gonna come this way and you've got yourself a half bathroom here. You see, so it's right there close to the activities downstairs. And then you've got yourself a, a pretty good sized laundry room here. And then you would go out and this is how you would exit the property. You would go out and here's your two car garage there. And then we'll go out, uh, as we go out here, I'll show you the kitchen here, uh, the kitchen area, if you will. And that's like the, the dining area and your, um, and your kitchen here. And it includes appliances, your fridge, your microwave, uh, and then your stove. And you can see it's a pretty good size area. Uh, you also get a dishwasher too there. And then as we walk out towards the backyard and get an idea of what the backyard's like. And you have a little area here where you can kind of grill it up under the stars. Uh, where as it gets cooler in October and you've got some nice sisu trees out here in the backyard. And uh, that's kind of how it looks from the back. And we'll go, we'll go back through the rest of the house now. Okay, so I'm going through the backyards, the slider, and then we're gonna go through the dining room, which we just did, and now uh, the lounge area. And now we're gonna go up the stairs, and you'll notice that the stairs are brand new uh, vinyl plank, and it really looks nice. You can see this with the video. And then we come up, uh, this is kind of the landing area of the this, of this top floor, the second floor. And you have your loft area, which is very unique. You don't really see this a lot. And so I'm gonna kind of zoom out. You can see how spacious this is up here. And this would be a good, good place to I don't know, put a second TV up. Uh, you could use it as a YouTube studio, or you could use it as your office and, and do Zoom calls and that sort of thing. Because it's really nice and light here. It, it, it would, it would uh, foster a, a good working environment, uh, in my opinion. So then we'll go back, and you'll notice this is a split plan. Uh, we'll go back and then we'll do that master bedroom area last. I think it's, it's probably uh, worth saving for last, the best for last, if you will. And then we, we, look, we look here. This is the bathroom that serves. There's three bedrooms up here. And this, this is the bathroom that serves these three bedrooms. And then I will call this bedroom, bedroom A. And I wanna make sure I can walk through it to kind of give you guys a picture of, uh, of how it would be. And you notice it has a good closet here. And then we'll go and see, notice all the, the new flooring here throughout the top floor as I walk through here. I'm gonna keep that in the back of your mind because it's nice and it gives, a, gives the flooring a nice clean look. And then so we go here, I go through here, and then you will um, also see kind of how it looks from the corner here. You can see like how wide it is uh, based on that camera shot. So let's go back to this, that's bedroom. The last bedroom in was bedroom B. This is bedroom C. So uh, I guess you could call it one, two, three, A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. But so there's three bedrooms here on the split side and you can see nice uh, new floor here. Paint looks really good. And then we're gonna come across here and see as I'm glad I'm doing this because as I'm going through the, through the house, you can kind of get a, a, a picture of the size of it 
uh, as, you, as you're watching the video. So here we go, like good light here. You look at these two nice windows, let your light here, so let there be light in the morning and you can wake up on a beautiful morning. Uh, and then you go over here, you got, now this is pretty decent size, so I hope you get a, get a picture of the actual size of this bedroom, because I think that's important to get that. And uh, so now we got uh, the transition here into uh, your, your master bathroom. And you'll notice it also, it has two things. It's got a nice shower and it's got a tub. So two things. And then you look at the sink and the cabinets here, you got there. And then that's, that's the toilet area. And then we'll cruise over here real fast. Pretty big closet here. So you could do a lot of things. Uh, you, could, you could put your clothes in here. Uh, you could use it for storage space. It is a decent size. And I'm trying to bring that out uh, through here. And then we will walk uh, through this bathroom one more time. And as I do this, if you have any questions, you can go to rpmphoenixvalley.com and that'll describe the pertinence, how you apply that sort of thing. And I appreciate you watching the video and I wish you the best of luck in your rental endeavors.